Hello beautiful people, today I'm going to show you how to name plain okra soup. You know sometimes maybe you have a lot of stew and you really don't want to make something uh, complex with your okra soup. I'm going to show you how to make it plain but flavorful. Okay, so we're going to start with okra, obviously. <laughs> so I've just put my okra on my chopping board. Uh, one quick way to know if your okra is fresh is if you snap it with your thumb and it comes off easily if you're able to snap it with one of your thumbs or your finger you know that it's fresh okay it should be able to snap off so what i'm doing now is i'm chopping the top and the bottom of my okra because i'm going to be processing that later so i'm just chopping the top and the bottom if it looks like the okra is a lot it's because it's a lot i was making a large pot because i have a large family okay so magically it's all done all my okra is ready and I am just going to start processing now this is has been rinsed and cleaned by the way okay so I've poured that into my food processor and I'm adding a little bit of water you can use a blender if you don't have a food processor or if you want your okra to be smooth I am using a food processor because I want my okra to be quite textured I like the rough texture if you don't have a food processor or a blender, you can always use a grater as well. The size of the grater will determine how rough or smooth your okra will be, okay? So I'm done processing that and you can see the lovely texture is there. It's not smooth, which is what I like. So we're going to get started with cooking. So I'm starting with water. I'm using hot water just to help speed up the cooking process. And to that, I've added uh, some crayfish powder. Okay, so I'm sort of making like a stock uh, to make my okra. If you have meat stock, that could actually work as well. So I've added in some seasoning, some salt, and I've added smoked prawns. Now, bear in mind that the smoked prawns are quite brown, so it would darken the color of your okra a bit, depending on the quantity that you use. So to that I've added locust beans which is optional but actually tastes really nice in this. So I allow that to come to a nice boil and then I've added in my blended okra. So I'm just going to make sure that I give it a good stir to fully incorporate the okra into the uh, stock that I have created from the, the crayfish and the uh, um, smoke prawns and things like that so I'm just going to mix that in thoroughly and make sure it's fully combined now if I had added a lot more water to my okra it would have been easier for me to mix but I really didn't want to put too much water because I like my okra really thick and really viscous I mean that's the whole point of having okra soup is to have that lovely thick uh, texture but you can always make it lighter if that's your preference okay so I've Cook that for five minutes. I don't believe you should cook okra for too long or any vegetable for too long actually so you don't cook out the nutrients. So I've added a little bit of baking soda. Now what that does is it helps maintain the color. Okay, so all the green parts will remain green for longer. Some people use cow but uh, baking soda is a much safer, much healthier ingredient. So that's what I use. And that's basically it. Uh, so I'm serving my okra into my bowl. And as you can see, it is so thick. It is so viscous. You can see those. It's absolutely amazing. And the smoke prawns in there just add a little bit of extra interest and motivation <laughs> for you to finish this okra soup. Okay. I know many people don't like plain okra. Um, maybe because when we were growing up it didn't taste so good but if you season it appropriately and you add lovely stew on top of it it's always a hit it's always a winner and it doesn't have to be stressful or complicated as you can see so I'm eating my okra with a nice portion of eba which I think is very perfect for okra soup so I'm just going to taste that and let you know how that tastes Hang on a second. Mm, delicious. Even the pomo was so soft and life changing. <laughs> I'm sure you know I like food by now. Okay, so I hope you tried this recipe. It was so much fun to make. And I hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.